Let's talk about Vault City. A while back, I received a question, and this is how it went. Che, let's say you were in Fallout 2, and you were given the opportunity to become a citizen of Vault City. No day pass, a full citizen. Would you live there and make that your permanent residence? Now, take into account, this is a hypothetical situation of me being in Fallout 2, in the state of Vault City, right when Fallout 2 starts. So Joanne is in charge. This is not taking any of the endings into account. So just think about that. Now Vault City is an area in Fallout 2. They are different from the others though. They actually use the Garden of Creation kit and it's a prosperous, beautiful place. Nice trees, green grass, probably the cleanest air in the whole area. But there are downsides to it. I'm not going to go into the history of Vault City. I want to talk about a hypothetical situation. And frankly, no fucking way would I live in Vault City. And I'll explain why. Yes, on the outside, Vault City looks wonderful. I bet the citizens there don't go hungry. They have water and the basic necessities needed to live a life without wandering the wasteland, fighting like animals for food and medical supplies. But to put it simply, Vault City is a police state. Everyone is monitored and told how to live their lives. It's like a beautiful prison. The food might be decent and you have a place to sleep, but what's the point of living if you have to follow someone else's rules all the time? Maybe it's me being an American and I sound kind of arrogant, but I want to be able to live my life and follow my own rules as much as possible. Sure, I gotta follow laws and I can't do whatever I want, but at the very least I want the freedom to eat how I want, live how I want, and do as much as I want without harming others or disturbing the peace. I mean, come on, you can't even have booze in Vault City. I know it sounds like me trying to be a badass, and let's be honest, I would probably last three days in Fallout 2, and that's if I'm lucky, but I would rather have the chance to go on my own and die early than live a long life in metaphorical shackles. And that's just for the citizens. If you want to become a citizen, you basically have to become a slave. And this is what Vault City is all about. It's the definition of trading your freedom for security. I don't want any ruling authority following me around 24-7 telling me how to act. And that's funny considering the digital age we live in. Any government can keep tabs on its citizen easily just by going through your computer history without you knowing or some other stuff like that trying to gather information on you. So I understand what I'm saying might sound a little bit ironic or however you want to put it because we're living in a world where it's easy to track anyone. But you get what I'm saying. I still eat what I want and choose what hobbies to do, good and bad, and at least I have some direction in my life. If I want to go outside in my backyard and lay down in my shorts in a hammock or whatever, looking at my phone, looking at some porn, whatever the hell, yaoi, gay, whatever the fuck you want to say, I can do that without someone trying to disturb me, unless there's some crazy person, but you get what I'm saying. I at least have some direction in my life. In Vault City, you get none of that. Now we have to take everyone's situation into account. It's easy for me to say that now, but what if I was born in the den, or Modoc, and my life consisted of fighting for even a small scrap of food? A life of constant danger. If I venture too far, I might run into ruthless enclave soldiers that would kill me and my family. If I go south, I might run into gangs like the Yakuza or Khans, or mercenaries, and that's just humans. What if I run into nine Wenamingos or super mutants? And with all that being said, I can understand why some people might go through the humiliation of being a slave and being looked at as nothing to try and become a citizen. But me? I can't do that. Rather have a short life of freedom than a long life of constant orders and monitoring. Take a look at the citizens. They are indoctrinated into this mentality of bigotry and elitism. They think they are better than anyone else and look at any outsider with such disdain. It has to be a boring place. I know they don't like ghouls, but these fuckers act like zombies. Can you imagine living there? Think about it. An outsider that is no threat to anyone comes there with a day pass to share interesting stories about life outside Vault City and everyone looks down on that person and acts hostile. You probably would get arrested for being friendly with this outsider. And we all know what happens when a governing body gets full authority. Criticism is not allowed. Now let's talk about the first citizen, Joanne. I hate this bitch. She has such a stank look on her face. Like you are in the presence of some god and you have to bat down to her. You're so lucky to talk to the first citizen. Fuck that bitch. Even talking to her for 10 seconds is a pain. At a certain point she demands something. No fuck that. I would have said something and got kicked out for good. This bitch is so stuck up. If you say something she don't like you can be exiled. For all you Americans out there. 
Imagine if you went to a town hall and mouthed off to the mayor or said something they didn't like and you get kicked out of the USA. Yeah, Joanne is out of control. She reminds me of this one supervisor I worked with. Thank God I quit that shitty second job and was able to get more hours into landscaping because I made way better money. Anyway, this supervisor had a stank look on her face at all times and she was just so confrontational and miserable just all the damn time. She got a kick out of treating employees like shit. She especially hated me because I never reacted. I just nodded my head, said yeah, and did my job. It's a shitty job, I'm not gonna stress over that bullshit. I have a carefree attitude when it comes to most things. I just go into la la land or just ignore it and put a smile on my face because I know it gets to them. She couldn't write me up for having a good attitude, although she did try writing me up for something I didn't do until I embarrassed her because we both went into the room and looked at the security footage and it showed I wasn't even working at the time this incident happened. I love looking at her face when she realized that it was so funny. Uh, she reminds me so much of Joanne. Oh, I got a bad taste in my mouth. Now back to the subject. I can understand Vault City having citizenship tests and trying to maintain laws and not putting up with any shit. It's got to be a tough job running Vault City. It must be a pain in the ass. I'm sure since it's a beautiful place in a world of shit and they have a lot of resources, people try causing trouble there all the time. I'm sure they had people trying to infiltrate it so they could kill people, steal stuff, try to go into Vault 8. Whatever, I'm sure they had people trying to cause trouble. But they don't maintain the balance of freedom and security very well. I mean, they have fucking slaves. They move so far towards security that it harms them. Take Gecko, for example. It's a place full of peaceful ghouls with the nicest motherfucker around, Harold. And nobody messes with my boy Harold. Obviously, the fucked up power plant in Gecko is an issue for both parties involved. But instead of Joanne, the first citizen, being peaceful about it, she flat out refuses to help even if it benefits everyone involved including Vault City. Can you believe that? This bitch says no and doesn't help you fix the power plant. She could have easily said yes. No damn reason to say no but she does. Thankfully someone in that city is using their brain and helps you with the mission but goddamn, Joanne, you gotta be a pain in the fucking ass. I know why she acted like that. She wanted an excuse to wipe out the population of Gecko, but I didn't let that happen. I made sure during my playthrough Gecko was safe. In fact, I'm all for a change of scenery in Vault City. Kick Joanne and all the other stuck up motherfuckers out and move in the nice citizens of Gecko and repopulate that city with people that really believe in freedom and aren't elitist. Let Harold run the city for as long as he can until the tree becomes a problem. When that happens, let him train a successor and let Vault City experience true freedom. And no, I'm not talking about working with the NCR or letting the NCR run it or letting Joanne get married. No, none of that NCR bullshit because let's face it, living under the NCR is just like another version of slavery. Let's be honest, the NCR has their own vision of what the world should be like and they may shake your hand, they may smile, they may try to be diplomatic, they might try to act like they're going to be peaceful with you, but if you don't follow their plans, and I'm not talking about causing disturbance or trying to kill them or anything, I'm just talking about not following their plans. If you don't kowtow to their authority, if you don't bow to them, you're going down. They're no different than the people that they try to say are bad. They're just the same thing with a different way of doing things and a different face on it. Fuck the NCR. No. That's what I would do. And I would do whatever I can to make sure to happen if I was in that world. If I had to invade Vault City with my people and we try to liberate that place, that's what I would do. And we would definitely go into Vault 8 and give some of that supplies to the people that actually need it instead of these stuck up motherfuckers. That's my answer to your question. Thank you for watching and have a great day.